What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be doing a brake position sensor change on a 2014 Silverado. Um, so what you're going to need to do this is your new brake position sensor. This is actually the old one, I already changed it. But you'll need your new brake position sensor, a 7mm socket, and you'll want it on a pretty small socket wrench, and then a flathead screwdriver. So once we have those three things, in the next shot, I'm going to show you a little more close-up of, of the actual sensor and how it's going to be sitting up in there. Um, it was a little difficult to film while we were doing it, so I'm just going to kind of show you beforehand, and then, uh, and then we'll go over it. So I'll see you in the next shot. So we're looking at the sensor here, and this is how it's going to be sitting up under the dash. And the bolt that's holding it on will come in from the left side like that. And then there's a guide down here that helps hold it on. But the main thing I want you to pay attention to in this shot is just the general location of that bolt and how it's going in, because you won't be able to see it once we get under there. The next thing I want to point out is where the small wiring harness will clip onto the sensor. Uh, the connector will slide over and then that clip right there will hold it on. So that's where that flathead screwdriver will come into play to uh, help you get it off. So now we're going to be taking a look at where the sensor actually is on the vehicle. We'll start at the brake pedal and follow that straight up. And now we can actually see the sensor here. And that seven millimeter bolt that's holding the sensor on that we looked at in the previous shot will go in from this side, the left side, my fingertip is touching it right there. So you'll need to remove that. And then you'll need to remove the wiring harness right there and then that will come free. To put your new one back on, you'll just reverse the process, line up those white plastic forks around that metal bar, put your wiring harness back on, and then put that bolt back in. So that's gonna wrap up the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. It is pretty simple. The toughest part of this is just the lack of space under there. The bigger your hands are, the harder, you're gonna, uh, the harder time you're gonna have with it. But um, other than that, not too, not too hard. If you have any questions, let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.